<laughs> Nationals at Mets. This one's for Sunday, July 30th. For the Nationals, Trevor Williams in 21 starts, a 4.47 ERA, 1.44 whip, 17% K rate, 7% the walks, 39% ground balls, 1.8 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 5.45 indicates that re regression still to come possibly for Williams, although he is – a profitable here over six and a half units this season in those 21 starts for the Mets. Justin Verlander uh, should get the start. We've seen the Mets deal their closer. They've dealt another Hall of Fame starter. Verlander expected to get the start on Sunday. He's made 15 starts, 3.24 ERA, 1.15 the whip. He's been pretty darn solid, uh, really holding uh, – Bats to under 200 since uh, over his last few starts, 21% strikeout rate, 8% walk rate, 38% ground balls, 0.9 home runs per nine innings. Last three starts, 1.89 ERA, 0.95 whip with 19 strikeouts and just one home run allowed. The Mets have gone over in just nine of their last 30 games can't trust the Mets after really flat yesterday following the news of, uh, you know, maybe that Scherzer would get traded. In fact, he did. And, uh, you know, Robertson getting dealt. The Mets just looked disinterested. They won the first two games of the series, but uh, totally got walloped yesterday by the Nationals. Maybe Verlander should have a decent start, uh, but who wants to lay the Mets here 250 with everything that's going on, uh, you know, against a team like Washington that can easily make a profitable game of this. So uh, let's go under the total here. Verlander to get a good start. The Mets disinterested. Yeah, there was a, plenty of runs here to be scored yesterday, but uh, Verlander can uh, keep him quiet here for several innings today. As long as he's in there, let's go under eight and a half Nationals and Mets on Sunday.